All right, I'm transitioning in my garage. I got the Corvair running and driving, pretty much ready to sell. And I'm about to start work on this Mustang. I just rolled it off the trailer. This is a 65 Mustang in Prairie Bronze, and that's a 62 Corvair Monza 900 in Autumn Gold. These are both good 60s American coupes. Wheelbase is about identical at 108 inches. Curb weight is pretty close. The Corvair has a lot more aluminum. It's a unibody car. It weighs about 2,400 pounds. The Mustang is going to weigh closer to 26 or 2,800. You see the roof lines are totally different on these. It's more bubbly on the Corvair, more angular on the Mustang. Both of these cars have 13 inch four lug wheels. You can see the Corvair obviously has four headlights and no grill. The Mustang has two headlights and a grill because inline six cylinder one one barrel carburetor water cooled so there's radiator factory ac car there's your ac compressor the output on that 170 cubic inch engine is about 100 horsepower if you're going to look for the motor up here in the corvair You're not going to find it because that's the trunk and the motor is in the back. This is a flat six air cooled engine, twin carburetor. They have to be synchronized for it to run properly. This also is a factory air car, but the compressor is not in place right now. If we take a look inside, this Corvair is a post car. You've got a frame surrounding the window on the front door, and this post here is always there, even when the window is down. Here's your factory air unit tucked under the dash. You can see a good amount of aluminum on the dash, and kind of these twin humps in the dashboard. Factory bucket, seat, car, a four-speed manual bench in the back, and the stitching or pleating runs front to back or vertical on the Corvair seats. And a bit of shiny stuff, mylar on the door panels. These panels are water damaged so they're warped. And we've got a white headliner. Now this Mustang, on the other hand, this is a hardtop car. So when the window's down, there is no door frame. You're not going to hit your head on it. If you're digging around for something, there is no post here when the rear window is down. Black interior, factory buckets. The pleats or stitching on this run side to side. The rear bench is stitched to match. Again, white headliner. Now the under dash AC unit is bulkier than the Ford. And the dash layout is symmetrical like in the Corvair, but kind of in keeping in style with the outside of the car. It's a bit more angular, rectangular. The door panels, I think, have a sportier design with that kind of sloped or fastback uh, taper and the chrome. Thirteen inch four lug. The caps are on these, but it is a thirteen inch four lug. I kind of favor the styling of a Corvair, but if you want to drag race, then the Mustang's going to win every day. So that was about a hundred horse and about a twenty-seven hundred pound car. Yeah, eighty-five horse and a twenty-four hundred pound car. You could get a turbocharged option 
and the Corvair to give you up to 150 horse. And you could get a four barrel uh, 289 V8 and the Mustang that made about 270 horse. So now I'm gonna get this Mustang on lift and start working on it and finish cleaning this up and get it ready to sell. Which is your favorite? <laughs>